I want to talk to you guys about something. My whole life, I would never, ever, ever wear those gamer headsets for Xbox, but look at me now. <laughs> okay. Hi there. Yes. Okay, absolutely. We can get you a number four. Yep, side order of these nuts. Sorry, we're actually out of these nuts. You can get those nuts. <laughs> I never thought I'd be that guy, but I was playing a game with my brother, and I was like, man, I can't keep calling you my cell phone. We gotta figure out a plan. Thus, we got the these nuts headset. Hi there. Okay. All right, Polana. What's up, everybody? So today we're doing another craft. This is a craft that's in the kitchen. This is an indoor waterfall, and I know what you're thinking. But Dad, it's gonna ruin my floors, all that water. I'm not actually building a waterfall in my house. That's that's impossible. Unless you play Minecraft. Hey, hit me up. Hey guys, these nuts. <laughs> oh. Shit. So today we're making an indoor waterfall, or you guys can call this underwater fireworks, whatever is gonna get me more views. Here's what you're gonna need. This is how on the fly these videos are. I'm actually getting the materials right now. There was no prep work, I just realized that. So you're gonna need a, a glass, a tall glass. You're gonna need vegetable oil. Food coloring. Food coloring. That's my vitamin cabinet, by the way. And I literally only have that, so whenever my mom comes over, I'm like, I'll intentionally run across my house. I'm like, hey mom, can you pass my vitamins? Just so she thinks I take vitamins. Sorry if you're watching this, mom. I don't take vitamins. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. You're also gonna need another little glass. So what we're gonna do first is fill this one up with water. Just like that. This guy, we're gonna fill up with a little bit of vegetable oil. Let's do a little bit more, because it's Christmas. And now, we're gonna take our food coloring. This is where you're gonna take your colors, drop a couple. Boom. Put a couple of drops in there. But next, that's, that's pretty much it. We're gonna mix this up and then pour it into this and watch it happen. It's not gonna mix because it's oil. Here you go. Pour it in. Okay, it looks like I made puffer fish. God, I hope this does something. Come on, give me something. <gasps> it's working! It's working! Oh my god! It's like they're giving birth! This is so cool! Oh my goodness, this is freaking awesome. This is actually so cool, holy sh Like little explosions. It's like little fireworks. Drop that in. Blue is starting to go. That's so freaking cool. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so this is the setup that I got right now. This is so easy to do at home because, so I got my camera here with a ring light. You definitely don't need any of that stuff. Um, but right here, I've got the glass full of water. I've got printer paper, so it's like a pure white background when you are shooting it. It'll look like that. I've got the vegetable oil holding up, like pinning the paper between the two. Over here, I've got the vegetable oil ready to go, the food coloring and then a spoon just to stir it. So you pour it, it's gonna sink to the bottom. Okay, so there you guys have it. That is how you make underwater fireworks. It is a super cool trick to do with photography. I will be posting one of those photos on my Instagram. You can check it out, at Danocracy. Nicholas Chavez, he's from Arizona. Let's, let's read some reasons why Dan is cool. Number 10, Dan can change his intro a lot and they are all cool. Number nine, Dan always makes anybody laugh. Number eight, Dan can make a video about how to remove egg yolks from the whites and still have it be entertaining. Number seven, Dan knows when the time to be fun and when to be serious, that's right. That's right. I don't know what to say to that. I was like, I was gonna make some booty joke there, but to be serious with booty, I don't know, never mind. Number six, Dan loves to laugh. I do love to laugh, actually. Number five, Dan has a dog, I do. His name's Charlie. His name's Chuck. Charles. Charles, that's my boy. Number four, Dan's favorite color isn't a basic bitch color. Well, I don't know, my favorite color is yellow. 
So if this was around Easter time, it would be definitely a basic bitch color. So number three, Dan can make any video enter interesting. Number two, Dan's very sociable. Yeah, very uh, very sociable, but very awkward and uncomfortable for everybody um, in the city. Number one, this is something Dan should do more. Tours. Oh, you want me to go on tour? We have, happy holidays, Dan. Open this, open to read under this. Also, thanks for being so active on Twitter. You're hands down the best. Thank you. For a while there, I was just like, hi guys, just woke up. Hey guys, just made ravioli. It was like the worst tweets ever. So now I am a lot more active on Twitter. So I appreciate you acknowledging that. Andrew from Tokyo. There's not a rare Pokemon card in here. I am suing. Oh, sick. He drew me. D Dan Oxy, look at that font and my nostrils. It looked darker than ever. Thanks for all the dank videos. See, when I grew up, the word dank meant like you just did a really bad fart. So that's pretty cool that dank has kind of really had a comeback in these past couple years. We got a package. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh my god, it's gift wrapped? Are you for real? Dan and Charlie, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. Oh my god, that is, that is the freaking nicest thing ever that someone remembered my birthday so close to Christmas. Because oftentimes it's like, hey, it's Christmas. Oh yeah, it's also that kid's birthday, he smells. From Carter, Troy, and Amanda. These guys, I swear, this is like my favorite family ever. What do we got? Oh my, oh my god. If there was an old lady oven mint, it would look like this. Come on, seriously, it looks like your grandma who doesn't know how to cook's oven mitt. They have sent me a new one. This is so sick. I literally use these every day. Oh, and it fits nice. It's like a slim fit. <laughs> That's a thing. Actually, a wiener dog on these. This is like the most perfect oven mitt ever. It's a paw print frame kit. So you put your dog's paw and you put it, oh my God, that is the cutest thing. Thank you, Troy, Carter, and Amanda. That's so sweet of you guys, it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys wanna be notified when I upload a new cool video like this, click the bell button beside the subscribe button, as well as subscribe, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.